I made it to the toilet. <laughs> uh, older people with smaller bladders, it would be wonderful if the toilets in this building were a little closer. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> God, I'd love to invite them to my funeral. Uh, <laughs> Two months ago, we were in Rome, Francine Rosset and I. It was the uh, 6th of September. I had just finished a day's shooting of trust for Danny Boyle and Simon Beaufoy. And we were sitting on the little balcony of our hotel rooms. It was so narrow that if I put the soles of my feet on the railings, my knees came up nearly to my chest. But it was above the rooftops. It was a block, block behind. Uh, it, it was beautiful. It was the early evening. It was warm. Piazza del Popolo was off to the right. Via del Corso was just in front of us. We had a little table between the two of us. And on it were two plates of room service spaghetti marinara and a bottle of aquapana. And my phone rang, my American phone. Now, I have been inundated for months by callers from unrecognized numbers telling me that I had just been approved for a bank loan <laughs> or for a mortgage. I tell them. Stop talking, take my name off your list, and hang up. And then I hang up, and I put a block on their number. I picked up my phone. I looked at it. I did not recognize the number. And so, gruffly, I mean really gruffly, I said, hello. And the man's voice on the other end said, Donald, it's John Bailey. John Bailey. John Bailey is the cinematographer of ordinary people. That was 37 years ago. <laughs> I, I said, hello, John. He said, Donald, I've been made president of the Academy. I said, congratulations. <laughs> he said, no, I'm calling to congratulate you. And he explained. I asked him if he would speak with Francine, because Francine had known John and Carol from before. And I passed the phone to her. And she talked for a little bit, and then said goodbye, and put the phone down. And we sat there. Finally, she looked at me. And she said, we're going to have to lose weight. I looked at her. I looked at the spaghetti. And I said, we'll start tomorrow. So we ate the spaghetti. It was cold. It was also the best spaghetti I have eaten in my entire life. This, this is very important to me, to my family. It's like a, like a door's opened, and a cool, wonderfully fresh breath of air has come in. I wish I could say thank you to all of the characters that I've played, thank them for using their lives to inform my life, I'd love to be able to thank the multitude of people who are responsible for me being here. Ingo Preminger, Renato Adler, Brian Hutton, Robert Aldrich, Christopher Plummer, Federico Fellini, Bernardo Bertolucci, Christian Duque, John Schlesinger, 
Nicholas Rogue, Fred Skip. None of us has time for me to go all the way through that list this evening. But I would like to say thank you to Ronald Meyer, who has been with me and behind me for as long as I can remember. Thank you to dear Josh Lieberman, Jerry Longarzo, Catherine Olam, Elan Ruspoli. And thank you to my children, my grandchildren. Our, our son Rogue called us in Rome a couple of hours after John had called, and he was weeping. That's what this means to our family. He, he, he was sobbing so hard, it was incomprehensible. <laughs> and, and finally, I understand that he was trying to tell me that this, this, was going to look really wonderful in his office at CAA. <laughs> E even as a young child, he had an impeccable sense of the ridiculous. <laughs> and of course, thank you to Francine Rossette, from whom, from whom everything has come, that's my family, from whom everything has come, and to whom everything is owed. I have been a partner to her for over 45 years. And in all that she has supported me with, her intelligence, her intuition, her instruction, her, her ability to make me laugh in the direst of situations, her extraordinary sense of taste, her residual belief in me. Amongst all of these, her ability to absorb and sustain the extraordinary ups and downs of this crazy movie life we have gone through. I mean, she deserves a medal for that. So Francine, I'm going to get you a medal. And I would like to say thank you to the governors of the Academy. Thank you for putting my name on this. It, it is incredibly generous of you. And I profoundly appreciate 54 people to give this. It's, it's extraordinary for me. I, I have to tell you that I have been beset by my mind's unrelenting interrogation of me, demanding if I deserve this. And in, in that quandary, I finally found peace in the words of the great Benjamin Kulbelski, who is also known as Jack Benny, when he said, as I say to you now, I don't deserve this. But I have arthritis, and I don't deserve that either. <laughs> Thank you.